Psalms 150. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the fragments of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Look your neighbor in the eyes. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Whatever, you do, whatever you do, don't lose, don't lose. your praise. Your This is the last Psalms of the Bible, and David was the author of some of the Psalms, not all of the Psalms. And David was a man after God's own heart. Yes, he was. But what I like about the scripture in the sixth verse is saying, let everything that have breath praise be the Lord. Yeah. Everybody that walked in the presence of God this day or this morning, this afternoon. Amen. God have breath in you so you walk in the door. And the reason, amen, he got you here today, he got you here for a purpose and a reason. Yeah. Amen. Some of you all couldn't wait for the church door to get open. I had so many people tell me, I can't wait to get back to Friday night or Sunday service when the church is open. And soon we opened the church uh, last year in June, amen, the very same loud folks that talking loud and saying nothing. That he show up. Say amen. Amen. The Bible said that everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. Amen. He got instrument that you can praise God on. Amen. Drums, organ, and guitar. He said, let everything that have breath. So that's why I don't understand some of you. Amen. You're coming here looking good and smelling good. Amen. Got your nice outfit on. Amen. But you don't want to get your weave mixed up. You don't want to get your shoes, your red bottom. Amen. You don't want to get no dust on it. Lord, I wish I had somebody. All right, all right. Amen. When you die, all that dust that you don't want to get on is going to come on you when you die. Say amen. Say amen. Amen. He said, let everything that have breath yes, give yes. God a praise. It's the reason, amen. He said, let everything that have breath because God breathes life into us. Amen. And when we come in the midst of God, enter his gate with thanksgiving, you should automatically have a praise on your lips. Amen. I don't understand why you don't want to have a praise on your lips when God been good from you from the pulpit to the door. Yeah. Amen. Some of you could have been laying six feet in the grave, but God saw fit to wake you up this morning and start you on the way. He said, let everything to have breath, praise the Lord. He said, let everything to have breath. Amen. You got breath in your body. Why are you sit down on your praise? I'm not going to let nobody stop you from praising God. Because God's been good to me. He was a doctor in a sick room. He was a lawyer in the courtroom. God been good to me. Amen. 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 When, when I was down and out, may God was still there. Some of you messed up. Amen. Fall away from God. Look at God. God's grace and mercy brought you back. And you're going to sit there and tell me God has been good to you. Look where God brought you from. He brought you out, out of the drug den. He brought you out of the alcohol den. Look what God did. Pick you up and turn you around and Plant your feet on solid ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lose my praise because my friend is sitting next to me. I'm not going to lose my praise because I want to praise God when I got a group of people. No, I wish I had somebody. You got, the, you got the praise connection in the church now. When one shout out, all of them shout, amen. When one sit, they all sit. I don't want that kind of praise. I want to praise, but when I think about the goodness of Jesus and all the Lord done for me, I want to praise about 
I don't want to be here because of that age, man. Now, I don't want to be in no church where they tell me to sit down and hold my praise. No, 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 no. The Bible says that your help the Lord is my strength. So I come to the church. You tell me to sit down my praise. No, you were oh no, let me back it up and tell you. You wasn't there when God healed me. You wasn't there when God delivered me. So you tell me you I can't praise God. But well, excuse me, I find a church that the mind giving God a praise. Because I'm not gonna sit on oh, my praise. Because huh? when I was down without, God picked me up, turned me around, put my feet on solid ground. When I didn't have no food on the table, God was there. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And have back. David was a man after God on heart. Yes, 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 everybody yes. knew and think about David was a worshiper and a praiser. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. He danced before the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. David didn't get tired of praising God, but he danced if God is best. Praise some of y'all, amen. You give God a skip to little praise. Amen. You do a little skip across your leg, all of a sudden you die. Lord, I wish I had somebody say amen. Amen, amen. Ain't no time to skip loop praise. Now it's the time to give God a real praise. Hey, I call him a shanda, you call him a higher. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. It's time to give God a real true and sanctified praise. Yeah. Amen, amen. The pandemic came and shook the whole world. Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. I'm going to drop this in it, amen. Hey, why? It came and shook the whole world because some of the saints just wasn't praying. Yeah. You're going to church, but you don't have no prayer life. Yeah. You come into church, you don't have no praise, amen. And you wonder why these things are going on. The church needs to go back to the old time way. You need to go back to the altar. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to go back to the old time way. We talk about from the pulpit to the door. Stop giving people titles and they'll do the army. You see promotion. You want titles, amen. And you don't know how to pray. You want a title, but you don't know how to preach. You can't even call John 316, but you want to preach. Uh, you want a name behind your title. Lord, I wish I had somebody. I know the Bible says that everyone in the body is they call it. Amen. Some of you got too much calling. Because we got too many people in the church. Uh, amen. I'm pulling against 
ministry. We got something that's just building ministry on top of ministry. But I got news for you. Don't try to build on here. Because you're going to die right in your spot ministry that you build. Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. First of all, we got a ministry. You got to go through the head and get the head blessing. You cannot go through your friend. So when I say ministry, some of y'all got real quiet. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, it did not bother me. Get quiet all you want. Uh, because he said, let everything to have breath. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I'm going to open up my mouth so the devil can hear me. Uh, I'm not going to stop praising God. Uh, where were you when I was sick in my body? Uh, where were you when I had two surgeries in my eyes? Uh, where were you when the doctor told me I couldn't run again? Uh, I know what God did for me. Uh, so I can't sit out on God's praise. Uh, I'm not going to sit out on God. Hallelujah. Uh, and when I come to church, huh, I don't care if I'm sitting next to my fiance. Huh, excuse me, baby. Huh, I feel a praise coming out. Huh, you can't sit to your sweetheart. Huh, and you know you just kiss her before you come to church. Huh, you ain't going to get no praise on. Huh, you think of what you did before you got here. Huh, so just let me separate myself huh, and get by myself huh, so I can get my breakthrough on. Huh, Lord, I wish I had somebody. Because huh, you don't have to have people in the church. Uh -huh. Oh, they're looking in the church. Uh, they're coming for one day. Uh, people want to get saved now. Uh, and you got the folks in the church. Uh, that's saved. Uh, they are playing church. Uh, they're going to Disneyland. Uh, they're going to the beach and sit on the beach. Uh, talking about they saved and sanctified. Uh, but once you save and sanctify, uh, the Bible says, uh, come out from among them uh, and be separated. Uh, and touch up the unclean thing. Because huh? holiness is right. Huh? Holiness is all the nation. Then huh? I come to tell you. Huh? You got to keep your praise. Then huh? I come to tell you. Huh? Really men don't go night. Huh? But joy. Huh? Gonna come in the morning. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Don't taste and see. Huh? But the Lord is good. Huh? I will bless the Lord. And all the time, this praise is going to be in my mouth. And I come to tell you that I'm a soldier in the army of the hall. And I come to tell you, hold on to your praise. Hold on to your joy. Say it. Say it. I don't know what you come to do. I came to Jesus. I was weary, rooted, and sad. But he picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. That's why I got to hold on. May not come on a hold on, but my God is always on time. Say yeah, say yeah. I come to tell you, church, hold on, church. Preachers, don't lose your praise. Prophets, don't lose your praise. Pastors, don't lose your praise. Why don't lose your song? Minister, don't lose your praise. Speakers, don't lose your praise. Hold on to what you know. And this I know because the Bible tells me so. What do you know? He's a matter like in the time of trouble. He's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Say yeah. Say yeah. I come to say to leave me. See 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 Cut your hand. Hold on. Put your praise. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody tell you you shout too much. When they tell you you shout too much, shout a little harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish I had something. Say amen. Amen. Folks don't know why you're praising God. I'm not praising God because I got a job. I'm praising God because God's been good to me. I'm alive and well. He's still keeping me. He's not looking at my clothes. Oh, I wish I had somebody. Amen, amen. Because some of these clothes you got, you ain't buying no way. Somebody bought it for you. Lord, I wish I had somebody would say amen. He's looking at your heart. Mm -hmm. To see what's in your heart. 
Amen. Amen. Priests and prophets and elders, we got to get ourselves together. Huh? Amen. We are busy fighting the issues that God has already come control. Huh? We are fighting who preaches on next Sunday because you don't want to hear a certain preacher. Huh? Get that stuff out your spirit. Amen. Remember where God brought you from? Huh? When you first came to the church, you didn't know A, B, C, or D. Huh? Now you got some deliverance. Now you're looking down on people. Huh? Don't look down on people. Can you pick them up? Uh, can you show the right path? Because uh, everybody don't have a praise. Uh, amen. There's some folks in the church don't know how to pray. Your uh, disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Uh, in the name of Lord. Uh, I got to teach some of y'all how to be obedient. Not pray or be obedient. Uh, Lord, because you've got your own agenda. Don't look at me like that. I'm looking right through you. Don't uh, say amen now, but deep down inside of your pocket, you got a knife. Uh, but you got a knife, I got a bullet. Uh, I got a shotgun. Uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, I got 66 books uh, from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, in the beginning of the word, and the word was with God. Uh, yes, Lord, thank you, Chief. Uh, I feel like preaching here. Uh, I feel like going on uh, to see what the end going to be. Uh, he didn't bring me this far to leave me. Uh, I had a lot of trials and tribulations. Uh, in the name of the Lord, but I got to hold on uh, to what I know. Uh, and what the eye would, what you holding on to. Uh, I'm holding on to the word, uh, which is the word of God. Uh, in the beginning was the word. Uh, and the word was God. Uh, and the word was with God. Uh, so what you holding on? Uh, he promised me uh, he'll never leave me uh, or he'll never forsake me. Uh, so what you doing? Uh, uh, I'm going to hold on to my praise. Uh, and another thing, uh, when I can't praise him, uh, I shall sure sing me a song. Uh, I'm going to hold on to my song uh, and my praise. Uh, because when the enemy coming like a flood, uh, the spirit of the Lord uh, will lift up a standard. Uh, say yeah. Uh, I'm just sick of churches all uh, Got the preacher on the dance floor. Huh? Got the ministers on the dance floor. Huh? They ain't doing the book of Luke. Huh? They ain't doing the hustle. Huh? I ain't never seen so many drunk preachers huh? in all my life. Huh? We forgot about what the word say. Huh? The word said, holiness was doubt. No man to see the Lord. He said, drink. He said, holiness without doubt. No man to see the Lord. I'd rather have a time with God than to lose my soul. What a crap of a man to gain the whole world than to lose his very soul. Go on to your point. Because God can bring us this far to leave us. He bring us so we get to reconnect it with him and get closer. Say amen, say amen. And the closer you get to God and give him that word, you can see yourself. Say yes. amen. See the word to let you find yourself. Say amen. Say amen. No doubt. Say amen. No and, and, and every time you turn around, everybody has a schedule on the same day. Everybody doing the same thing. Prayer, conference, prayer. Leadership out. Everybody on the same day. Segment. And go do these things and don't come back with nothing. Segment, 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 segment. When we get to heaven, it's going to be one God, one faith, one baptism. Segment. I, I, I came from one of the most popular churches in New York City. They really have to see a Baptist church. Segment. In Harlem, on the 38th Street. That's where I grew up at. Segment, segment. See, God has pulled me out. Amen, amen. Said I, I wasn't satisfied with myself better. When you when you don't have the Holy Ghost and yearning on the inside, you get something better. Then when you got the Holy Ghost and yearning on the inside, you want to get closer. Because you want to get closer to God so God can see what you're doing. Amen. Don't get closer to God when you get up and got the same old man's attitude. When you get closer to God, there ought to be a difference. Amen. We got to ask, ask God to give the priests back their anointing. Not money. Give them back their anointing. Because they're just doing everything for money now. You need the anointing for the days that we're living in. Yes. Amen. My God. And young folks, y'all got to learn how to pray for you. Yes. And y'all stop with the adults and start with the young folks too. Yes. 
Because this generation that's coming up, they don't know the Bible, some of them. Amen. You're going to have to know the word. Yeah. What the word is saying. Amen. And this, every, every time you read the paper, something has happened. Do anybody know that building was going to collapse in Miami? No. Oh, somebody knew it was God. Amen. Do you know where your next turn is going to be? No. Look at yourself. Just look at yourself. Feel the cold that you got on. And said, Lord, I thank you. Yes. You're able to give me some clothes I can put on my back. Yes. Amen. Amen. Even if you got two wigs on, take one off the Lord. I thank you for both wigs I got on. Because some of the hair you got in your nowhere. Yes. Amen. This, this, uh, see, you, you're not trying to talk about nobody, but you got to thank God for the little things. Yes. Right. Yes. You don't thank God for the little things, but you complain about when somebody says something that you don't like. Yeah. I'm not here to please people. I'm here to please God because I want to make it in to see my Savior. Yeah. That's right. Stop taking things out of context and taking out the scripture. Yeah. Oh, come on, teachers. Because there's something in this Bible for everybody. So you hold on to your praise. Sit your knees. Don't let nobody stop you from praising God. That's right. I don't care how they feel about you. I'm going to still praise God in the midst of my turmoil and trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a requirement. All right. You don't know what some people are going through. Some people can't even pay the rent. You can pay yours. And sometimes you're not grateful. Your praise should have been almost up to the roof of this building. Yeah, God. Yeah. Because yeah. some of you sit down on your praise. You should know what you're praising God for. Amen. Don't praise him because you got a car. Praise God he gave it to you. Yeah. Praise him because you are alive and well. Because when you're gone, that car going to be here. So you got to praise him while you're alive and well. God gave me breath, he gave me strength to praise him. So I'm coming to church and I'm going to praise God. Don't want nobody to say that. Come here. Just let me praise God because I feel like praising him. Right. Because some church don't allow you to praise God. The late Mother Johnson, when she was alive, lost my mother. They invited me to a church to preach here in the Bronx. And the Mother Johnson, you know, the pastor, and the pastor called Mother Johnson and said, How's the pastor? He's been a good pastor. But he, but he, he said he can't minister when he comes. <laughs> Amen. Mother Johnson said he's a pastor, but he ministers in his church. He said, Well, tell him he can't minister. I said, Mother Johnson, do me a favor, call her back and tell her I ain't coming. You want to ask me to come? I didn't ask her. Yeah. Your gift will make room for you. Yeah, you can't put restrictions on the Amen. Spirit of God. Yeah. She's a pastor, and I'm a pastor. Yeah. Say amen. Say amen. She will know what I stand for. I stand for holiness. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The reason why some churches don't want people to come because they're scared you might take the members out because they, they don't preach holiness. Mm. They preach shacking up. Mm. Amen. Take somebody to them if you want them. You still say you. Amen. They teach the folks there's nothing wrong with you, Dad. How many of you slide last night before you came to church? My God. Amen. They teach that in the church. Yeah, Lord. Amen. And preachers are getting drunk and go around the pulpit and preach. Yeah. Amen. 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 Forgot about what God said in his yeah. word. Yeah. His word is right. His word can cut through the marrow and through the bone. His word can save you if you want to be saved. Yeah. If you want to be saved. There's such thing as the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's what some of y'all need. Y'all need the Holy Ghost, not the ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, when y'all have the Holy Ghost, you can't fight off the devil. When you've got the Holy Ghost, you can resist the enemy, and that enemy will flee from you. See, because the Bible says, after the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. 
Now these folks, the reason why y'all ain't got no power, because you don't have the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, when you get the Holy Ghost, you can run the devil out of your home. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Stop saying God help those who help themselves. Let me bust your bubble. It's not scripture. Amen. Oh, Reverend. Reverend is not in the Bible either, so throw it out to vocabulary. He gave some apostles, the prophets, pie, and teach a fivefold ministry to the body of Christ. We are doing things now in the church that's not in the Bible. Lord, I wish I had. Somebody, else. when he say look you the head and not the tail, that don't mean you gonna have you won't be the head. That don't mean you gonna be the pulpit all the time. Whatever he give you to do, he gonna make you the head of what he called you to do. Yes, yes, yes. My God, you just stop two, two positions. That's the problem. Lord, I can't. I can't wait till the pastor give me a song. I got a word. I'm the Lord. Say amen, amen. You got a word from the Lord. Say amen, say amen. And don't realize you're the only, not the only preacher here, Chris. Got more preachers besides you. Amen. 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 You got a word from the Lord. Amen. Let me go some of y'all brothers. Amen. When God got when God got gifts and ministry in the church, if you got a word from the pastor, amen. He always send the prophets in the office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it's too deep. Yeah. Right? So right. Yeah. So right. Amen, amen. Right, right, right. To give the pastor the word yes. that he needs to hear. Yes. Right, right. Say amen. Amen. Then when the prophet just leaves, I don't mean I'm a prophet, I gotta thank God for the word. Yeah. All right, Pastor. Now let me say, when you come for counsel, don't look for me to prophesy with some of you. Because some of y'all don't need no prophet because you know exactly what you're doing. Do you want me to prophesy out of that? Okay, get yourself out, you're going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Plain and simple. Jesus. Say amen. One wife, not two, not three, not four. One, until she dies. Amen. You go back and get somebody else's wife? Amen. You can read a doctrine. Read your book. And Moses, God told Moses, Moses was given into the people. And God told Moses from the beginning it was not so. That's what he told Moses. Say amen. Say amen. You're supposed to keep one wife, cherish her, love her, buy gifts for her, buy diamonds, rubies, mink coat. Jaguar, Mercedes. Come on, husband. Lamborghini and Rolls Royce if you want, if you got the money. Don't go over your budget. Because she's going to wheel you back in when you go over your budget. They know how to wheel you back in there, ladies. They know how to wheel you back. Come on, you're out the budget. Now let's come on back in. Say amen. Amen. Then if you don't have this, you still got to look good. Say amen. God wants you to look good. Say amen. Hold on to your praise. Don't lose your joy. Don't lose your focus. Don't lose your praise. Hold on to what God called you to do. He said, everything to have prayer. First of all, maybe there's someone today that don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. And you like to give God your heart. Right where you are, or you listen, just raise your hand and put your foot up and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I believe you died for my sins. And I serve you the balance of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank God. Right where you said you're saved in faith and believing. Amen. Amen. He wants you to go in peace and serve the Lord and find your church where the Bible is being preached so you can know the word of God for yourself. Amen. Thank you.